This image was taken on a very dull day. It was underexposed by about a stop and a third. And I'm going to try and get the image back to the way it should look. The first thing is the crop. Now everybody does Lightroom in a different way. And I don't think there is a definite right or wrong way to do it. But this is the way I like to work. And it works for me. In fact, we'll make it a custom 10 by 8. Which is somewhere around there. Okay, it's underexposed as we can see by the histogram leaning over to the left. So if we're going into the basic panel, we can lift the exposure somewhat by about a stop, which brings up the brightness and puts the histogram back nearer where it should be. But in doing that, in lifting the exposure, we come across a problem with losing feather detail. Now, a way to recover the feather detail is by dropping the highlights. There we are, that seems to have sorted that out. Shadows I don't think is going to have much effect. No, we'll leave the shadows, we'll just put the shadows all the way. All the way up. Um, whites again. I've got to be really careful about blowing shadows out. Actually, the whites have blown the shadows out, so we'll increase the, the highlights again. And the blacks are clipping here, so those need to be reduced. That way the blacks aren't crushed. A little bit of presence, not too much, and a little bit of vibrance. Certainly helps the detail in the image. So that is the basic panel sorted out. Moving down to the detail, sharpening. Now, when you increase sharpening you also increase the uh, the noise in the image which is not great but we can reduce the noise by going to noise reduction and lifting the noise reduction ever so slightly about 23 23 and we still have feather detail lifting the noise too much I'll show you I'll exaggerate it for you lifting the noise up too much it, it moves the background grain but it also takes the detail out of everything and, and ruins it so if we keep it at about 20, 23, that will give us the optimal effect. Detail. That's the detail. Now lens corrections. By 
adding a tick in the box is you can remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections and also by putting in the lens that was used taking the, the when the photograph was taken and Lightroom has dozens and dozens of lenses so you'd be very unlikely not to find your lens there this was taken with a, a Tamron so that sorts the lens corrections out effects a little vignette around the outside helps to draw the eye into the subject itself again not too much and basically that's it um, if we look at the before and after we can see mm, we've still retained the detail within the feathers we've brightened it up and we've sharpened it to a degree So thanks for watching, that was uh, a very quick run through on Lightroom Classic CC.